I got one good question for you. Do you want to learn how to obtain real estate at 0% interest by just leveraging credit cards? The answer is probably yes. And you know me, I got you. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step by step. So with that being said, you already know what time it is. Let's get right into it. What's up, family? I'm back with another one. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the family. So in today's class, we're going to be talking about how to build wealth by leveraging your credit cards to obtain real estate at 0% interest. And we're going to show you step by step by step. So grab a pen, go get some paper, and you know what you got to do. Get you something to drink. Hey, this is going to be a good one. All right, welcome to today's class. And you already know what time it is, and we're basically going to break it down when it comes to using your credit cards to build wealth, right? We're going to give you the step-by-step -step play. Now, this is long-term. This ain't no short-term. This ain't going to happen overnight. However, if you take the tools, if you take the cheat codes, if you take the resources, and you have the mindset, and you have the right information, you can go ahead and generate you some money every single month, whether... Um, whether you're doing the work or not doing the work, this is long term. So first things first, step number one, hey, my, what we got for step number one, what's the first thing you got to do to you leverage credit cards to build some money? All right. Long term so far, money. Okay. First off, before I get into that, I want to say congratulations to the people who attended our training today, uh, July 21st. They came in, they showed up, man. We really oh, yeah. showed, we dropped some gems, man. A hey, shout out to y'all. If y'all were in the class, drop some comments down below. Let everybody know how fire that class was. Drop at 20, hey, y'all know, drop at 24. Got the 24 or the seven in the, in, the, in the comments down below. But first thing we wanna do uh, when we leverage these credit cards to create passive streams of income or build wealth, Mm -hmm. Basically, you want, to, you want to have your credit score, your credit profile built out right. The credit score is going to be a product of the credit profile. All right. So let me kind of explain. You want to have 100% payment history. I'm going to tell you exactly what I want you to have. Right. You want to build your credit. You want to have 100% payment history. You want to have less than 10% utilization, ideally around seven to four. Right. Seven to four, whatever on that spectrum. So people say 30, but I'm just tell you what I want. Uh, you want to have at least two years credit history. You want two years credit history because um, these banks and lenders need to know that you're in the game for long term. Like like you've been in here, you've been paying your bills on time for an extended mm -hmm. period of time. You want to have that credit mix too. Um, what I notice is if you have a mortgage, some people with mortgages get approved for just a little bit more. Um, that's not a fact. This is something I noticed. It might be fiction. I don't know. But you want to also have less than three hard inquiries in the less in the last three months. I mean, and the reason why the mortgage because if a let's say a um, underwriter looks at your credit, let's just happen to look at it. The it looks like stability, right? You have a mortgage. They know that you got got it. You had to you at least have a job and you are having some type of income coming in. Now that's not guaranteed. You know things happen, but. If a lender looks at that profile, they're like, all right, this person had this, this person had this. I don't mind letting this person credit it because I can see that they can manage it. Yes, sir. All right, oh. so that's it for me. That's it for my step one. What you got for step two? You got you there, you, you said the hard inquiries, right? Yeah, I said hard inquiries. Oh, okay. well, less, than, uh, less than three in the six month okay. time period in time span. Mm -hmm. I don't want to look thirsty out here in these streets. Oh, yeah, Just yeah. You can't look right. thirsty. Hey, yep. Yeah. So after you build up your credit and have it all cleaned up and everything looking good, the next thing you want to do is create the LLC, right? Start the LLC. Now, I'm not telling you what to do, what type of, you know, I ain't no tax, whatever, right? I ain't no professional. So just reach out to somebody, but start. Start a business. Start a business, right? And the LLC, you want to make sure this is something different like what i mean by different is you don't want to have being high risk like you don't want to have real estate um over the road trucking over the road trucking credit all yeah. those different things in your name right you just want to have i always tell people to have an enterprise right use your initials enterprise or first name or last name enterprise something right this is wealth right so use your last name enterprise or something along those lines or initials right so start the LLC, correctly build it out. Um, we have videos on how to properly build out an LLC. I ain't gonna spend too much time on it, but the most important thing is having the correct name. Um, and we're gonna be leveraging our personal credit, so we're not really caring about the address. 
right? You already know, get the EIN number, get your LL, you know, all that. So this is just getting, we're going to tell you what you're going to do with these credit cards. All right. So Mike, step number three. All right, so I want to kind of piggyback. I want to hit on step two one more time. The reason why we say start the LLC, we really don't want we don't want to mess with that credit age. Once you apply for these business business credit cards, my bad. <laughs> Once you apply for these business credit cards, your age is not going to change. Your age of credit history is not going to change. Of course, you'll get a couple of inquiries, but that's just the nature of the beast. But your age of credit history won't change, which means your credit score will not drop. Boom. I'll start, I'll start the business. Start the business. Put start the business, yeah, yeah. Because they can do the S Corp, C Corp, whatever, the trust, anything. All right, so next thing you want to do after you start your business is do, 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 get a business bank account. Not <laughs> one business bank account. You want to get two, you want to get three, maybe even four. Do your research. Now, me and Dave have a cheat list of which banks pull what, but do your research to figure out which bank pulls what, because that's going to be instrumental and you getting the maximum amount of funding right so a lot of people only have one bank account for their whole life now i would say this would be my dad right because he I, I know other people but my dad ain't gonna care that i say it my dad had one bank for a long time and i guess what i was gonna do have one bank for a long time until i got into at amax boy I, whew, I had navy federal i got into amax i said Yo, let me get that platinum, the gold, the plum, the blue cast. Say, hey, whoop, whoop, I'm getting into business. Let me get the uh, Goldman Sachs. You know what I'm saying? So um, you definitely want to uh, have a relationship with multiple banks. Uh, ideally, you'll get one that's a credit union um, that's locally uh, and maybe two big ones, something like that. Um, mm -hmm. The banks you want to get the relationships with are the, are the ones with the most credit cards because if you get these credit cards, some of them, you can merge them, right? So. With my Chase account, I have I had a $21,000 credit card and a $50,000 credit card. Merged them together, created a 71,000 mega card. Woo! <laughs> and what right. you can pay. Woo! And what you can buy with that. Well, we're going to talk about that. All right. So, Mike just already hit on it. The next thing you want to do is apply. Apply, apply, apply. Apply for funding, right? Apply for funding. Apply for credit cards. And the reason why you want to apply, not just any credit card, my bad. Mm -hmm. Business credit cards. And the reason why you want to get business credit cards is because they don't report on your personal credit. Now, don't get oh, I'm about to say Open Sky. Don't get um, Capital One, Sparks, or um, Discover because those two report on your personal credit. Now, um, if you want to build wealth, this is the key. You don't want to mess up your personal. Because what we're going to do is continue adding funding. And I'm going to tell you a bonus play um, once we once we get into it. So, Mike, after you get the funding, after you get the um, the money, mm -hmm. what are you going to do with this money to build wealth? All right, look, we don't tell you nothing we ain't already do. You go straight into real estate. Now, this is <laughs> what I did. Now, you don't have to do this, but you can. So, little old me, little fireman, Michael. Uh, I went back home to, you know, South Carolina, coming from Virginia. Only a few people know what a fireman Michael is. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's what we call, you, you know, you young buck in the Navy, you, you, you don't get no official title. All right. So I got these credit cards or whatever. And then I saw this house I had like, right. I went back to South Carolina. I'm like, dang, how much that thing is? So I, I called the number that was in front of the house. Um, they had a little sign in the yard. I called on, I called the number. The lady answered. It was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is $40,000 for this house. And it was run down. I was like, I ain't about to pay 40000 for that. So guess what I did? I took the sign out the yard, put it in my trunk, and dip off, right? Hey, ain't nobody else calling for this thing. I'm about to, guess what? It was a bandit sign. So I'm about to keep calling every day. 20000 20000 20000 I'm about to drop a gem on y'all. Hey, if y'all find this helpful, drop a seven. Yeah, drop a seven. <laughs> I think we already told y'all to drop a seven. If y'all find this gem helpful, y'all drop a seven. I'm going to tell y'all what I did. I took my credit card, right? I had my bills on uh, pay for my credit card. What I did was I entered in an extra zero on my statement when I went to go pay my bill for my phone bill. And then they said, hey, Mr. Drake, you overpaid your phone bill by about a couple thousand dollars. And I was like, all right, yeah, cool. And I said, well, I lost that credit card. So what can y'all do for me? They said, well, we'll send you a check back. Whew! 
You mean to tell me I got $7,000 off a of credit card just by overpaying on my bills? I hope that's a good deal for y'all. Like, <laughs> it was going to be the bonus. It was going to be one of the bonuses I was going to release for y'all. But what I did was, did that a couple of times, end up getting the money off my credit card. Now, for the sake of everybody on this thing, um, taking a large, uh, a large amount of money off your credit card could be very dangerous if you don't have a strategy attached to it. I already had good credit. I already knew I was going to refinance that house. I already knew I had um, a, a, a what's it, two hundred three k loan. I think that's the home mm -hmm. renovation. Don't make me lie to y'all. All right, so I already knew I can apply for that. So when I assessed the homes ARV, the uh, the homes ARV, I already knew when it was fixed up what it would have been, what how much I could have made off that house. So basically, boom, take the money off the credit card, get the house, renovate it using credit, then refinance now you got a house you know but you still got a mortgage on it but because i'm in the military i utilize my va loan so long story short got a house paying with a credit card i hope y'all like the story go ahead <laughs> oh the bonus play is i mean we already know we're gonna get into real estate long-term play leverage credit cards you can buy um a home with a credit card and the reason why it might show you how to liquidate it and there's multiple ways to liquidate it and, and get the, the deal, right? But the bonus play is, and it's a really a strategy. I should say strategy. Um, these credit cards are at 0% interest. And if you did it, huh? On the business side, just look. Just yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you'll get these business credit cards and you'll get the 0% interest business credit card. And when you get these 0% interest business credit cards, you can then liquidate it and fund the deal. And once you fund the deal, um, you know, you have a 30, well, basically going to be paid off. However, you got to pay the credit cards back. After two to three, or after two years, the the 0% is not going to, it's no longer going to be 0% interest. It's going to go to whatever, right? But however, you can balance transfer that into another 0% interest business credit card and you continue doing the same thing over and you're paying 0% interest for that property and you're making money or you can refine it. Like whatever you want to do, just do it over and I'll uh, pay off the credit cards and continue running the play. Yeah, continue running the play, but the most important thing is discipline. You guys got yep. credit, credit discipline. Um, uh, I messed up a couple credit cards back in the day trying to run different plays and stuff, but I didn't have any knowledge doing it. Right? And how did you have the right information? I ain't had the right information. Bro, what? Nobody on YouTube talking about it. Nobody, especially not for free. And when I found out, I found out people knew about this. It was people all the way on the, you know, saying the other side of, you know, the spectrum <laughs> mm -hmm. as far as uh, what they can do. Like people were doing all type of things with the credit card. They'll go get the house and then go to get a hard money loan just to pay back the house because they already had the house in, in their grasp. They'll go get the hard money loan and stuff like that in order to pay the credit card back. But there's so many different ways you can do it, man. Just be safe when trying to do these techniques. Try to learn as much as you can, but not too much because the person who's always trying to learn the most will never take action. One more thing. You just one deletion away from getting to your ultimate credit score. All right, I'll see you in the next class.